In this Unity tutorial, I will show you how to create this pause menu. So let's get started. So right here I have this simple game, which is a platformer. And you can see how I created this in this series. But to create the pause menu, go to scenes, then locate your canvas over here and double click it. And if you don't have a canvas, just right click, go to UI and choose canvas. But I already have one right here. Right now all I have in the canvas is a health bar and a win UI. But let's right click on the canvas and create empty. This will be the pause menu. Then right click under that, go to UI and choose image. I will call this background. So this will be the background for the pause menu. I'll make it dark and set the alpha to 200. Then click on the pause menu game object and click on the anchors up here. Hold shift and click right here. And now set all these to zero and go to the background right here and do the same thing. So click on the anchors, Just hold shift and click here and do zero, 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 zero. And now the background fills the entire screen. Now right click again on the pause menu and we'll go to UI and go to Text Mesh Pro. You might have to import some stuff here, but I've already imported Text Mesh Pro, but just click import. And then right here, I'll just write pause. I'll set it to bold and I'll align it to the center and to the middle. And then I'll just drag it a bit up like so and set the font size to 60 and set text wrap mode to no wrap like so. I'll rename this to pause text. Then I'll right click on the pause menu, go to UI and choose a button text mesh pro. And I'll call this button resume button. And under this, there's the text where I'll write resume and I'll just set it to bold. So now we have a resume button. I'll just drag it a bit closer to the pause text like so. And now I'll just copy the resume button. I'll drag it a bit down. This will be the main menu button. And in the text, I'll write main menu. So people can go back to the main menu if you have that. Now we have these two buttons. You can of course make this look better, but this is just what I'm gonna create to show you the basics. So what we'll do now, I'll go to my scripts folder. If you don't have that, that's totally fine. But in here, I'll right click and create a new c -sharp script called pause menu. And I'll open that up. In here, I'll delete the start function. And in the update function, I'll check if input that get key down escape so I'm gonna check if we hit escape. Well, then we want the pause menu to pop up and we can simply do that by activating all of this, but it's easier just to have a container for that. So I'll right click on the pause menu, click create empty and call it container. Now I'll select all of this and drag it inside of the container right here. So now it's all in here. So go back into your script right here and I'll create a public game object called container and set container that set active to true in here. And we also need to stop time when we pause a game. And we simply do that by doing time, the time scale equals zero. So now the time is stopped. And now we simply need a function for the resume button and a function for the main menu button. So what we'll do is do public void resume button and a public void main menu button. In the main menu button will the Unity engine that scene management, that scene manager, that load scene. And in here you'll need to insert the name of your scene. So if you, for example, had a scene called main menu or it was called something else, well, you would just write it in here, but I don't have a main menu, so I can't show you that. But the resume button is very simple. Here, we just have to copy this and invert it. So we'll do false right here and we'll set time scale back to one. Now go back into Unity. In here, we'll click on our pause menu and drag the pause menu script over here. And we need a reference for the container. So we'll drag the container onto the reference. Now we'll just have to click on the container and disable it in the beginning and click play. And when I press escape, the game pauses, but right now the buttons don't work. So let's fix that. So click on the resume button, scroll down till you see the button component and press this plus icon for the on click event. Now drag the pause menu game object onto here and click right here. Go to pause menu and find the resume button function we created. So this will now activate the resume button function. We'll do the same thing for the main menu button. So click plus, drag the pause menu over here, choose pause menu script and choose main menu button. So now when I click play and I press escape, the game pauses and when I press resume, the game resumes. And when I press the main menu button, nothing will happen because I don't have a main menu. But if I had, that would have taken me to the main menu. 
So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe.